take a look at the final cuts for the 2014 New England Patriots. A few notables, wide receiver Josh Boyce, also wide receiver Matthew Slater, special team specialist. Brent Bolden was cut, as I don't really feel the need to carry four running backs. Got a couple ba backup offensive linemen, Michael Buchanan, and we're going to end up cutting Carmen Messina. And then one more, we're going to cut our 7th round draft pick, Bucket Chinoster. So we actually cut our 6th and 7th round draft picks, respectively, but... Nonetheless, that gets us down to 53. Take a look at the Miami Dolphins roster. They're going to be our week one matchup. A couple former Patriots in there like Taiwan Jones or Taekwon Underwood. I don't know why I said that. Well, I don't know. I guess they probably don't have Taiwan Jones. Taekwon Underwood. And you can see the injury report for both sides. Marcus Cannon and Blake Vasquez will be out to not two major injuries. They'll be back in a couple weeks. Cannon's going to be a big one, though, because uh, then Will Svitek will have to fill in a right tackle. And you can see... For the Miami Dolphins, their running game is decimated. Lamar Miller out for the entire year. Donald Brown out for two weeks. That is big. And with Blake Vasquez being down for a couple more weeks, we're going to re-sign Ryan Mallett, who was cut by the Vikings. We're going to give him a one-year contract. It's unguaranteed, so we're likely, we are likely to cut him when Vasquez gets healthy again. But here we go, getting to this matchup against the Miami Dolphins in week one of the 2014 regular season for the New England Patriots. Hopefully we'll have a turnaround year after a 5-11 and season in the first year without Bill Belichick or Tom Brady since 2000, or actually since 1999, since Belichick was the coach in 2000. I believe 2000 was his first year, if I remember correctly. But here we go, his son Stephen Belichick is off to a 5-11 and start in his coaching career. Jim Nance and Phil Simms are on the call, and let's get right into this ballgame. It's time for the opening kickoff for the 2014 NFL season. Gostowski kicks it from the 35-yard line, kicks it deep, and that will go through the uprights for a touchback. Miami will take over. So here we go, first play from scrimmage of the season, first down, Ryan Tannehill drops back, fires right side, caught by Mike Wallace, who Tlaib just completely whiffs on the tackle, McCourty will finally catch up to him, but Wallace gets a 40-yard yard gain to start up the season, and now I formation, man in motion, handoff to Daniel Thomas, and Thomas up the right side, he's going to pick up the first down, getting a nice carry right there for a new set of downs for the Dolphins, now shotgun set, Tannehill will drop back three wide, he's looking to pass, he's going to step up, no one open, tries to scramble to his right, he fumbles, and it's Covered by Gerard Mayo. Great pounce on the ball by the captain of the defense, Gerard Mayo. But we would end up punting it away. So on their next drive, they're going to punt it right back to us. Julian Edelman is back to return this. He's going to field it, make a move up the right sideline. He's got some space. He's looking for a block. One of the best punt return men in the NFL. Doing work right there. And here comes Pop Warren. This will be his second possession as an NFL quarterback. Shotgun set. Here he's going to look to the right side. Caught by Clay Harbor. In the flat right there, Harbor is starting out the year as the starting tight end. We'll see if Ross Borky overtakes him, but here was the story of the day. Like Garrett Blunt in the running game, unable to get anything going. That will set up a third and four. Pop Warren is going to drop back, fire right side, caught by Eric Decker, and that will be his first catch as a New England Patriot picks up a nice first down right there. Now shotgun set, Warren going to drop back. He's going to get hit hard, and he's going to fumble. Cameron Awake is there in the recovery. He's got no one in front of him across the 50, 45, 40. He is gone. No one will catch him. As you're going to see, LeGarrette Bunn actually pops up on your screen, but he will not be able to chase down Cameron Wake, and that is a horrendous, horrendous job by our offensive line and by Pop Warren. You've got to hang on to the ball there. Talk about having all the momentum on your side about to take the first lead of the season and just like that the Dolphins get the lead 7-0 so they're going to get the ball back here late in the first quarter Tannehill is going to drop back look left side caught by Brian Hartline on third down we went, we went with press coverage and that was a big mistake right there as Hartline just straight up beat Alfonso Dennard off the ball so here we go Tannehill gets rushed and he gets sacked big hit by Rob Ninkovich that's already his second sack of the game so he's having a good first half or first quarter for that matter and now Ryan Tannehill empty backfield is going to drop back on second and 18 he steps up in the pocket fire it and it's caught by Daniel Thomas out of the backfield who breaks the tackle and picks up the first down. His first catch of the season, it goes for 20 yards and a new set of downs. Tannehill will drop back, fire right side, caught by his man Brian Hartline. And Hartline will pick up another nice chunk that'll give him a first down. Now second down from the 10 handoff to Thomas who breaks the tackle will get brought down after a 7 yard gain. And here is Alfonso Dennard going down, grabbing, will look to be his leg, we'll get an update on him shortly. Tannehill firing deep right side on the fade route. Mike Walls could not hang on. That will set up fourth down, and out comes the field goal unit for the Miami Dolphins. This will be a short 21-yard kick is up and good, and the Dolphins have jumped out to an early 10-0 lead here early in the second quarter. And here it is, Alfonso Dinner down with a torn quadricep. That is a bad injury. For now, we're going to replace him with Kyle Arrington, but in the long term, I'll probably put Logan Ryan on the outside and keep Arrington in the nickel. But nonetheless, Pop Warren on the next drive is going to fire that over the middle, caught by Julian Edelman, 
And finally, we're trying to get a passing game going right here. Can't, can't really get anything going downfield. It's a lot of dink and dunk. This one is tipped and incomplete. That'll set up fourth and seven. We need to get something going on offense here. So at midfield, I'm going to take a risk here and try to go for it. So here we go. Shotgun set, split at backs. Pop Warren's going to drop back. Fire it. Caught by Eric Decker. But once again, just too conservative. We could not even get the first down marker on that. So here we go. Next play for the Dolphins. Ryan Tannehill fires it right side. And that's intercepted by Aqib Tlaib. He's got room and he could go all the way. Here comes Tannehill who will actually make a great tackle right there. As he does shove him out of bounds. But Tlaib with a huge turnover right there. We will take over inside of the 30. Great play by the cornerback who we re-signed to a long-term contract. Looking for him to be that stud cornerback on the outside that we need. So here we go. Ensuing possession. And up to Garrett Blunt. But once again, the running game could not get anything going right there. Kyle Williams on the tackle. So here we go, third and 11, Pop Warren is going to drop back, scramble to the right side, doesn't really have anything, he's going to end up trying to fire this one, and that is somehow caught by Shady Monroe, I do not understand how Pop Warren fit that ball in there, or how Monroe even, I mean, oh my goodness, what a play, and we cut the lead to 10-7, now on the next drive for the Dolphins, great sack by Gerard Mayo right there on the stunt, and that's going to set up third and, or third and 60, no, it punted away, so we get the ball back, Third and 17 for us. Pop Warren scrambling right side. Fires it. And once again, Shady Monroe making a great play. Bailing out his quarterback. And now here we go on first and 10. Left side caught by Aaron Dobson who breaks the tackle. Cuts back upfield. He will pick up about 9 to 10 yards. He's going to be down for a moment. But he will come back shortly. Here's Pop Warren now on third and inches from the shotgun set. He's going to drop back. He's looking. Got time. Finally fills the rush. Fires it deep. He's got a man. Eric Decker deep down the sideline for the first down inside of the 15-yard line. Now empty backfield for Pop Warren on third and 10. He's going to look right side. Caught by Shane Vereen. Lined up. On the outside, he will make that catch first down and go from the one-yard line. Now we're going to go play action. Actually, I think that was supposed to be play action, but it ended up not being one. But Shady Monroe is there in the screen play. He gets into the end zone for the touchdown. And Shady Monroe's second touchdown of the game. Second touchdown of his career. Pop Warren's same thing for him. Second touchdown of the game. Second touchdown of his career. And we score 14 unanswered to take a 14-10 lead heading into the half. You can take a look at the stats right there. An impressive second quarter from the Patriots after jumping behind, or really falling behind, 10-0. They bounce back, showing a lot of resiliency right now. Here we go to Ross Borky over the middle. He will make his first catch of his career. That'll be a 10-yard gainer. If you guys are wondering, I did edit some of the accessories on the likes of Shady Monroe, Ross Borky, a couple of the rookies. I hope you guys won't mind. I just wanted to make them look a little bit more normal since some of the rookies don't look too normal in this game. But once again, Larry Garrett Blunt can't get anything going on the running game. But check out the beautiful pass from Pop Warren. But it's dropped by Clay Harbor. And it actually falls right into the hands of Chanel, the linebacker. So that'll be third and two for the Dolphins as they try to set up. But a great play by Sean Lee. His fourth tackle of the game. A huge third down stop. And once again, we're going to force him to punt away. So the defense is keeping the offense out on the field right now. Great job of the defense to bounce back after a bad turnover right there from the Patriots. So Garrett Blunt finally trying to get something. You can see he has 11 carries for 29 yards. Here we go on the drop play. Tries to cut left. Actually fumbles. Will luckily jump on this one. But Garrett Blunt having a rough day. And I think a lot of it is having Wills Vitek at that right tackle position. He has not held his blocks effectively today. Hopefully having Marcus Cannon back soon will help the run, out, the run game out. But nonetheless, great pass to Clay Harbor. This time Harbor holds on. Now second and 10 inside of the 25-yard line. To the right side. Caught by Eric Decker. He's got his fifth catch of the day. 75 yards. Impressive debut from Eric Decker. Up the middle to Garrett Blunt but oh my goodness great call by the defense of the Miami Dolphins right there stuffing the run second to goal Pop Warren takes a deep drop back fires it and that was just an awful decision on my part Rashad Jones is there for the interception luckily Decker is there to make the tackle so he does not get very far poor poor play on my part I'll take the blame for that interception but here we go man in motion here he is, I formation, offset to the right, play action. Tannehill is going to fire it, and it's intercepted by Logan Ryan, the cornerback who led the league in interceptions for rookies in his rookie season. Comes up with one right there, the ball hawk. Logan Ryan making a great play. Tannehill felt the rush, had to get rid of that one, and he makes a terrible decision. So here we go, LeGarrette Blunt up the middle. He's going to luckily bounce, get, kind of gets tackled forward, so we get a little bit of a lucky break there with LeGarrette Blunt. Second and five, and up to Blunt once again, who's going to pound his way up and get another four, four or five yards. That'll set up third and inches. Shotgun set empty backfield to Monroe. Shady Monroe, ladies and gentlemen. His third touchdown of the game. This third touchdown of his career. Incredible start to what hopefully will be a long and a successful NFL career for Shady Monroe. Now, next drive for the Dolphins. Third and 14. A flag down. That's going to be for holding. So the stack will count. 
Another great play by the Patriots front seven, really getting pressure on Tannehill. They would end with, I believe, four sacks on the day. So we take over on third and eight. Pop more to the right side, a wide open Clay Harbor, who after that drop earlier is finally becoming effective today. Five catches for 79 yards so far. Now Pop Warren over the middle, caught by Shane Vereen. Actually, that's Aaron Dobson, excuse me. That'll set up third and one, hand out to Blunt. Blunt picks up the first down, and here we go, trying to get a running game started a little bit here as we've been a little bit more successful in these third and fourth quarters. But Pop Warren deep to the left side, and oh my goodness, Shady Monroe. He would be banged up on the play, and he would actually be out for the rest of the game, but it was a minor injury. He'll be back for next week. Hand off to Garrett Blunt up the middle, and Blunt somehow gets stuffed. I don't know how he did not get in there. So here we go on second to go. We're going to give it to Blunt once again, and Blunt just runs right into the back of his man. Uh, you know, I don't know if it's just not used to running on this game yet, but LeGarrette Blunt, then he dives for the end zone and fumbles. An awful day for LeGarrette Blunt. He actually loses this fumble this time around. So fourth and four for the Dolphins, pretty much their last shot at trying to continue this game. Only down by 11, still Tannehill fires off balance. That will be incomplete. We will take over from the 22-yard line. Now with just 2.30 to play, trying to run some clock. LeGarrette Blunt up the middle. Here he gets some positive yards, a nice eight-yard nice eight gainer. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. And you can see we are 11 for 17 on third down today, a big reason why we've had some success and that's going to be a first down that will be the first time out called by the Dolphins now the pitch to LeGarrette Blunt to the outside he's going to get into the end zone his first rushing touchdown of 2014 that will put us up 28 to 10 and all but seal this ball game so on the Dolphins next drive they're going to take over here from the 20 yard line on first and 10 10 will drop back he's going to fire it and Aqib Tlaib is there once again his second pick of the game a great start to a man that has a lot of expectations coming into the season Fresh off of a huge contract extension, we're looking for a keep to leave to become really that lockdown number one corner that we all think he can be on a consistent basis. He's shown flashes of that, but he's got to be a little bit more consistent. Here we go. After we get stuffed on third down, we're going to kick this field goal on fourth and two to go up 31 to 10, and that will be the final score of your ball game. The Dolphins would run out the clock from there, so we take home a victory, 31 to 10. Score is a little bit deceiving. It was a much closer game than it seemed. If you guys remember, it was 21 to 10 with about 2:30 to play, and then we added on 10 points late. So very close game. I was very happy with the sliders. Um, I, I can't remember exactly where the Dolphins finished last year in this franchise, but in real life they were, I believe, eight and eight. And I think around in, in this connected franchise they were around that last year. So you know, if we're being a team that goes eight and eight last year, I know we're at home, so they are games we should win. But I think that's a very impressive start to the season. Obviously, great games out of Shady Monroe and Pop Warren. I thought the defense played pretty well, especially in the second half. So we have a lot of things to build off of. Our goal for the next couple weeks is to get that running game going hopefully we get marcus cannon back and that will help but anyway that's gonna do it for me i hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of this third episode this first gameplay episode of the Patriot connected franchise thanks for watching guys hope you did enjoy and just out peace